Next, in task 3, we are going to test uh, the transitivity of uh, virtual network pairing by using the um, network watcher. So, in the Azure portal, search for network watcher and go to the connection troubleshoot under network diagnostic tools and subscription. Select the resource group, source type as a virtual machine, and uh, select the virtual machine VM0. Destination specify manually, URI or IP address specify the IP address of the VM2 10. 62.0.4 so this is the private ip address of vm2 you can also check that in the another tab we go to virtual machines select vm2 and the private IP address of a VM2 is 10.62.0.4 and the prop settings protocol TCP destination port 3389 and leave the source port uh, empty and click on check so let's wait until the result of the connectivity check or returned it's checking the connectivity okay so the status uh, shows reachable and review the network path okay so this is expected since the um, hub virtual network is paired directly with the first spoke virtual network next hop okay so next we'll initiate connection troubleshoot from vm0 to vm3 Okay, select the resource group and uh, source type virtual machine. Select the virtual machine VM0, specify manually, and I'm going to enter the IP, uh, the private IP of the uh, VM3 10.63.0.4. You can also check here VM3, make sure we are entering the correct private IP of the VM3 just select protocol tcp and the destination 3389 and click check okay so this also reachable okay so next uh, we are going to you know check the connection troubleshoot between vm2 vm2 to vm3 okay so click on network watcher connection troubleshoot resource group source type virtual machine vm2 specify manually enter the vm3 ip address 10.63.0.4 and destination port 3389 and click check Okay, so now we see the status unreachable. This is expected because since the two spoke virtual networks are not paired with each other, if we go to um, virtual machine VM2, so this uses VNet2 
and this uses vnet3 now let's go to virtual networks and vnet2 check the pairing so this is paired with only vnet1 so vnet2 is not paired with the vnet3 and similarly vnet3 is not paired with the vnet2 Two. So that is the reason we are uh, getting this status as unreachable. So next task four, configure routing in the hub and spoke topology.